How's it going everybody? Welcome back and is Bridgerton on Netflix? Now, during the Regency era in England, eight close-knit siblings of the powerful Bridgerton family attempt to find love. And it's a pretty interesting story, but unfortunately, it is only available on Netflix in 38 countries. And so if you're not in any of these 38 countries, what you can do is simply use a VPN. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three is the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and where you're looking for out of your VPN and your own preferences and budget, of course. All you really need to do is simply use one of these VPNs that all work remarkably well when blocking streaming services. You can connect to any uh, location where it is available. And the moment you're connected, you can just go back to Netflix and refresh. And if Bridgerton was not there, it will show up. And just to prove to you guys that I'm now connected to the Canadian library, I'll just go ahead and scroll all the way down on the homepage. And it will say right here, top 10 TV shows in Canada today. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, You'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features and of course if for whatever reason you're not satisfied with any of these vpns you can get yourself the refund very easily besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day